Throughout Orange Bowl history, many great coaches have stood on the sidelines, but none has equal the accomplishments of the late Paul Bear Bryant. Bryant's first Orange Bowl appearance was in 1950 as head coach of the University of Kentucky. And over the years, he would return a record six times. Perhaps Coach Bryant's greatest moment of the Orange Bowl came on New Year's Day, 1966, when Alabama took on Nebraska for the national championship. Before the game, Bryant told his quarterback, Steve Sloan, to abandon the deliberate Crimson Tide running attack. Alabama came out passing, a brilliant change of tactics that completely surprised the Cornhuskers. Sloan completed 20 passes for 296 yards, both Orange Bowl records, and Alabama went on to win the national championship 39-28. Paul Bear Bryant, whose glorious coaching career spanned 25 years of Orange Bowl moments. the accomplishments of the late Paul Bear Bryant, whose six Orange Bowl appearances is a coaching record. Coach Bryant's greatest moment of the Orange Bowl came in 1966 when Alabama met Nebraska for the national championship. Steve Sloan passed for 296 yards and a Crimson Tide victory 39 to 28. Paul Bryant's coaching career spanned 25 years of Orange Bowl moments. Steve Seiler devoted over 40 years of his life to making the Orange Bowl what it is today. As executive director, he became known as the mad genius for his lavish parades and outrageous halftime presentations. Seiler catapulted the Orange Bowl into the big time by getting the Oklahoma Sooners to play in the 1939 game. Both the Rose and Sugar Bowls won at Oklahoma. So Seiler covered the Oklahoma campus with posters of palm trees with such slogans as See You in Miami. He showed the Oklahoma players a picture of Miami bathing beauties and told each player to choose a date, even though he had no idea who any of the girls were. Not surprisingly, the Oklahoma players voted to pass up the other bowls in favor of a trip to Miami and the Orange Bowl. Ernie Seiler devoted his life's work to the Orange Bowl's greatness, and today, Dan McNamara carries on that proud Orange Bowl tradition. Siler devoted over 40 years' work to the Orange Bowl and as an integral part of the festival's success story. As executive director, he became known as the Mad Genius for his lavish parades and outrageous halftime presentations. Siler was one of a few visionaries from Miami's past whose imagination and drive made the Orange Bowl what it is today and guided the festival from humble beginnings to worldwide acclaim. day, 1935. FDR was in his first term as president. The Packard was the car of the future, and the latest fashion idea was pants for women. Miami was a sleepy ocean town, and all of Florida was in the midst of the Great Depression. Hialeah Racecourse held a 90-day winter season that filled hotel rooms and stimulated trade. Community leaders wondered how they could extend the season, and out of that sense of wonder, an idea was born, an idea that became today's Orange Bowl Festival. The Orange Bowl had modest beginnings. 5,000 football fans sat on wooden bleachers to watch Bucknell play the University of Miami. But even in those early years, it was obvious the Orange Bowl committee had big plans. And today, on the 50th anniversary of the festival, the University of Miami returns for another glorious Orange Bowl moment. In 1935, the first Orange Bowl took place, an historic event that didn't look like one at the time. 5,000 fans sat on wooden bleachers to watch Bucknell play the University of Miami. But despite modest beginnings, the Orange Bowl committee had big plans for the festival. And today, as the Orange Bowl celebrates its 50th year, the University of Miami returns for another glorious Orange Bowl moment. The 
1963 Orange Bowl brought about a head-to-head -head battle between two of history's greatest football coaches, Oklahoma's Bud Wilkinson and Alabama's Paul Bear Bryant. Excitement ran high as the crowd awaited the arrival of President John F. Kennedy. The president stopped into the Sooners dressing room to talk to Wilkinson's number one ranked team. He didn't visit the Alabama team, however, and the Crimson Tide felt they had something to prove. The Alabama defense was a quick, nasty-tempered bunch led by All-American Leroy Jordan. The Crimson Tide's offensive hero was a sophomore quarterback who could run as well as pass, and he led Alabama to a 17-0 victory. Afterward, a reporter asked Coach Bryant who the young man was. Joe Namath said, Bear, write it down because you'll be hearing it a lot in the years to come. Joe Namath, basking in the limelight of an Orange Bowl moment. President John F. Kennedy looking on, the Oklahoma Sooners took on the Crimson Tide of Alabama in a classic coaching matchup. The year was 1963, and Alabama was led by an unknown quarterback sensation whose name quickly became a household word. Joe Namath put 17 points on the board, and a stingy tight defense held Oklahoma scoreless. A triumphant Bear Bryant rides the crest of another Orange Bowl moment. In 1959, America got its first live look at the color and pageantry of the Orange Bowl Festival. The first national color television broadcast of the game and parade arrived just in time for the Orange Bowl silver anniversary. That year's game matched the Syracuse Orange men against Coach Bud Wilkinson's Oklahoma Sooners. It was Wilkinson's fourth trip to the Orange Bowl in six years. The Sooners struck on the second play from scrimmage as Prentice Gaunt ran 42 yards for this touchdown. And in the next possession, Oklahoma quarterback Brewster Hobby threw an Orange Bowl record 79-yard pass for another TD. Final score, Oklahoma 17, Syracuse 6. The first 25 years of the Orange Bowl was cause for a shining celebration. Now, after its second 25 years, the festival shines even brighter. The 1959 Orange Bowl marked the first national color television broadcast of the game and parade, and also the festival's 25th anniversary. The Oklahoma Sooners met the Syracuse Orange Men, who dominated the game in every way except on the scoreboard. The first 25 years of the Orange Bowl caused for a shining celebration. Now, after its second 25 years, the festival shines even brighter. In 1935, Miami was a sleepy ocean town with a lot of big ideas. And one of the best of those ideas was the Orange Bow Festival, a month-long celebration of life in Florida. As part of the Orange Bow's 50th anniversary celebration, there are over 15 events planned, including three parades, a world championship tennis tournament, a marathon, a national band competition, and a variety of social events. During the Orange Bowl Festival, the nation looks toward Florida, and we can show off our winter climate, our festive culture, and civic virtues, just as the first Orange Bowl organizers planned. In 1935, the festival showed a glimmer of the promise of Florida. Fifty years later, that glimmer has turned golden, and during the next 50 years, we can look forward to even more spectacular Orange Bowl moments. when Alabama took on Nebraska for the national championship. Before the game, Bryant told his quarterback, Steve Sloan, to abandon the deliberate Crimson Tide running attack. Alabama came out passing, a brilliant change of tactics that completely surprised the Cornhuskers. 
Sloan completed 20 passes for 296 yards, both Orange Bowl records, and Alabama went on to win the national championship 39 to 28. Paul Bear Bryant, whose glorious coaching career spanned 25 years of Orange Bowl moments. Once again, once more. Throughout Orange Bowl history, many great coaches have stood on the sidelines, but none has equaled the accomplishments of the late Paul Bear Bryant. Bryant's first Orange Bowl appearance was in 1950 as head coach of the University of Kentucky, and over the years, he would return our record six times. Perhaps Coach Bryant's greatest moment of the Orange Bowl came on New Year's Day, 1966, when Alabama took on Nebraska for the national championship. Before the game... Throughout Orange Bowl history, no one has... 296 yards and a Crimson Tide victory, 39-28. to Paul Bryant's coaching career spanned 25 years of Orange Bowl moments. Up once more. Throughout Orange Bowl history, no one has equaled the accomplishments of the late Paul Bear Bryant, whose six Orange Bowl appearances is a coaching record. Coach Bryant's greatest moment of the Orange Bowl came in 1966 when Alabama met Nebraska for the national championship. Steve Sloan passed for.